British Olympic diver Tom Daly revealed he's in a relationship with another man. He did it via YouTube. Check this out. I met someone and they make me feel so happy, so safe and everything just feels great. And well, that someone is a guy. And it did take me by surprise a little bit. Um, I mean, it was always in the back of my head that something like that could happen, but it wasn't until spring this year that something just clicked. It felt right, and I was like, mm, okay. And like I said, my whole world just changed. Wow. Mm -hmm. What did you think when you saw that video? I think it's great. I mean, again, just like Maria Bello coming out too, the more people who come out, the more people say, I am part of this community. Again, he's not saying he's gay. He, I think at one point he says, I still fancy girls, which some people are kind of taking issue with. They're saying that it's sort of a problem that he's saying, I still fancy girls. Like, don't worry. Right. I'm not totally gay. Uh, you know, do you think that's the kind of caveat that comes as part of the coming out process, or do you think he's actually saying he has a fluid sexual identity? Like, what do you think it is? It's, you know, for a lot of people, it is a caveat. Like, for me, well, I was bisexual, and then I had no labels, and then I was gay. But a lot of people, it's not. So, I mean, people also, bisexual people say that's not fair, that people can be bisexual, or they can be fluid, and to, to deny them that is er erasing their identity. Um, but I think a lot of people will say, no, he is gay, he's just afraid of actually claiming that because there's so much stigma still attached to that. And if you say, no, I still like girls, you sort of hold on to a little bit of credibility. Yeah, I'm not, I'm not sure how much credibility you hold on to when you do that, among, among the homophobic crowd. No, I think that's true. But I think when you're coming out sometimes, it, it seems that way. Right, it's just part of your journey. Exactly. That's an interesting thing. What about the YouTube piece of this? When I saw this, I thought, wow, yeah. he's coming out via YouTube in a way that's sort of powerful, right? Because it's really it's, powerful. It's, it's person to fan. It's exactly. him to the audience. You know, no inner, no intermediate, but also no one to follow and ask questions, right? Not at all. He's just putting it out there. and People get to decide how they want to take it. But, but it's very personal. It is intimate. Rather than just sort of on Twitter or something like that, we're seeing him. We're hearing his words. Um, it's a little bit emotional. It's beautiful.